What's up, ladies and gents? This is Kase Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. It's Friday. It's not my day. It's your day. And our grass face friend is back at the tower. You know, he's just hanging out, peddling some stuff, saying, hey, give me your strange coins. <laughs> so we got to run over this way to the left and disturb all the birds because they're always sitting there every single time. And I mess with them every time, and yet they keep coming back. I don't know what's there. Could be a wormhole. Eh, that wasn't funny. Kid, that was not funny. No, seriously. <laughs> anyway, let's go down here, back towards where the speaker is, and find Zhur. And of course, we have to run through the everlasting puddle that never gets cleaned up. Nobody has time for puddles. Nobody has time for puddles in the tower. And there he is, just hanging out in the corner, all by his lonesome. See, what, what's he hanging out with? What's he looking at? Anything? Eh. Zizure's house over there. There it is, right there. So despite my great reservations, I will still talk to Zure and see what he's got. And yeah, there it is. We've got no backup plans on the Titan. I already have them, so whatever. I don't have this arachnid helmet. I don't know many hunters that actually use it, um, so I'm probably not going to pick it up anyway. And oh yeah, look, he's got a gun. Oh wait, I skipped one. <laughs> Heart of Praxic Fire. So yeah, if you're a warlock, pick this up. This hasn't been sold by Zhur to my knowledge, and Warlocks want it really bad. I was fortunate enough to get it as a drop. It never gets affected by shaders for some reason, but it allows you to grenade spam to your heart's content. So pick it up. Um, even if you don't plan on running a Sun Singer, you know, just pick it up. Just seriously, pick it up. <laughs> and yeah, it is actually, <laughs> interestingly enough, mine has the exact same rolls on it. And, uh, yeah, the one thing that I will say is most people save their super for res. If you have this, though, it maybe behooves you to just use your super and spam out grenades. It's a lot more fun. Makes the Sunsinger a lot more fun. Then there's the Universal Remote, which makes sense with the shotgun buff. And you can do this whole thing of running two shotguns. And shotguns are awesome. Now, I got this Universal Remote as a drop. I had the 300 version, but I ended up picking up this, uh, 331 version as well as a drop, but I haven't leveled it at all. But now with the shotgun buff, um, you need to use shotguns because they are so much fun for running around and mobbing. Maybe not great for raiding, but for mobbing, yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun because you're going to one-shot everything. And just scrolling over some of the other things, I really do like Void Fang vestments. They're, they're a big fan of mine. Uh, I'm a big fan of theirs. <laughs> And then, interestingly, they're upgrading all three of the exotic bounties that you can go ahead and get. And looking through the bottom, you're going to just have to scratch your head. Look at this. We've got an empty slot at the end of the line with nothing in it. Where's the heavy ammo, sure? Where is it? I mean, it, you know, I've got friends who said they were spending 200 strange coins last week buying heavy ammo packs. And I thought, wow, that's excessive. They're going to be back in Jure's inventory a lot from now on. Bungie learned its lesson. And no, no, they look like the smart ones, and I look like the big dummy. So I would say back to heavy ammo glitching if you don't have your packs. I, you know, I just don't understand that. That doesn't make sense that it's not in his inventory. Is this a way for Bungie to regulate the Yalahorn? Um, I know... I don't have one, and it feels like everybody else in the community has one, but I don't think that's the case. I'm just going to run over here, and I've got a couple Vanguard packs. I figure I might as well open them up at the end of the video, see if we get anything fun. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue Sparrow. Oh yeah, it's so blue. Yeah, Blue Sparrows. <laughs> and another helmet for my Hunter. Yeah, nothing exactly stunning out of those things. Some commendations and stuff that really isn't going to be used. A <laughs> Blue Sparrow to go along with my fleet of all these Time Breakers and stuff that, well, Time Breakers that haven't been broken down. And remember whenever we got the game early and we got a special Sparrow and it turned out to be just a green nonsense thing? Yeah. So this is the Pulse Rifle I got. And full auto, not too bad. Field Scout. So actually, I mean, in the way of Pulse Rifles, this isn't too bad. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any space, and I'm not going to use this, but I will say that's uh, that's not that bad of a roll at all. I do like full auto on the Pulse Rifles. So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button, 
subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, and I'll see you around in Destiny.